Welcome to Unit 4 on the Cell Membrane Structure and Function. Before we get into the material for this unit, I want to discuss the lab. There is an osmosis lab in this unit that is designed to be done at home. This lab does require a formal lab write-up, and there is a procedure for formal lab write-ups provided in the course. Be advised that this is a general procedure, so some parts of it may not apply to this particular lab. You will need an introduction, purpose, hypotheses, and a materials list. Under the heading procedure, you can simply say, see osmosis lab. The charts and graphs are provided for you to insert into your lab write-up under the heading results. Answer the questions in the lab in your conclusion. Be sure to number your answers, answer in complete sentences, and use the proper terminology. The experiment itself is easy to set up, but it is important to start off with a saturated stock solution to get a proper result. Be sure the water is boiling and you are vigorously stirring salt into the water until there are salt grains remaining that will not dissolve. Let the solution cool and use it to make your final stock solution. You will also need a scale to measure mass, and it should be sensitive enough to read to the tenth place. Good luck with the lab, and be sure to ask questions if need be. By the end of this unit, you will have to be able to present a formal lab write-up, describe the structure and function of the cell membrane and of each of its parts, describe the four different types of transport, determine the direction of the movement of water based on various scenarios, and identify the different factors that affect the rates of diffusion.